And again, remember, Huff was third place last year. There was no rolling last year. <laughs> so to think about where Huff can go this year with the rolling, it's, yeah. it's terrifying to think it's about crazy. right now. And definitely seeing someone adapt from tapping to rolling and plus having really good piece placement on top of all that. Huff is just a brilliant stacker as well. So uh, just all around great adaptability on display. Uh, Huff really just so well-rounded and, and skilled. Here we go, Tetris time versus Huff. Five, four, three, three two, one. Tetris, Tetris time. Tetris time. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? It's Tetris time. Oh man, so here we go. Again, starting off on the level 18. It's mm. going to be nice and calm at first. But uh, well, already Tetris time. Tetris time already building himself kind of an awkward build here. Had a chance to interesting drop the uh that one piece uh, right there into the column four hole. He's gonna get out of there, but you can see starting with a low Tetris rate, hasn't gotten a Tetris just yet. And meanwhile, two Tetrises for Huff already. Score, boom, Tetris for Tetris time. Yep. Gonna need a tuck over here. That's not gonna be a problem. There you go, Huff getting that in there just fine. And now just waiting on the long bar. There it is. Boom, Tetris oh, for Huff. Up. Yeah, but you can see here right now, uh, obviously, like I said, it's early. Early on, it's very easy to raise your percentages very quickly. But, you know, Tetris time with a little bit of an awkward start. He's at 42% right now. And again, this SZ burst right now is just causing some damage to him. Finally gets the O piece. But now all of a sudden, an O piece burst. <laughs> Uh, oh. See that um, tapping speed is allowing Tetris time to just stack those boxes up on the left and dispose of them, putting them into their proper place on the left but side. A, yeah, but a little bit of a mess right there on the left right now for Huff. Yeah, Huff needs to, to fill that in with a long bar. Oh. Okay, opts not to get piece dependent. That was smart. Oh, but then he ends up not getting the long bar anyway, and we'll probably have to burn a couple of lines there to yeah, use that left go. well. So kind of an awkward situation. But he he and just use it to transition into a right well situation. Very smart by Huff. Yeah, so Huff is looking clean right now. Just needs that long bar, boom, Tetris for Huff. Tetris time beating a long bar. Yeah, there it is, boom. There it is, boom, Tetris, Tetris, Tetris time. He's gonna get the tuck there. So definitely gonna clean out his field a, a lot more at this point. Not yeah, this time forward. trying to avoid being lo double long bar dependent, waiting for, yeah, either a tuck or something to fill that in. I wonder what he's going to do with it. He's just going to tuck the J. Yeah, so it's, then... not, it's not looking bad here. He's got a pretty clean field. And in fact, he can play at this level if he chooses to, but it looks like he wants to burn down to row number one. He could have just played at row two Tetris and just go for Tetris at that point, but he chooses to play it a little bit safe. But as a result, still sitting at a 40% Tetris rate at 45%. But hey, scores are neck and neck. So even with that bit of a dig by Tetris time, um, Huff having to burn some lines too, the scores are really close. Yeah, both players <laughs> having some uncomfortable digs to have to go through. Yeah, you can see right there. Tetris time choosing not to put the T piece off of to, to onto the left over there because that would have created one of those awkward parity situations. Very close game Tetris, here. Tetris time, yeah. Pieces right now are the RNG for the pieces is being a little awkward for both players. So See right now. Time. Yeah, Huff needs to drop that eyepiece in column nine and still reliant on another one for that Tetris, but finally gets it there. Actually, I think that was just a triple that he got because I think there was a hole on the side that I didn't see. Uh -oh. yeah, Tetris time might be building. Let's see what he does with this. I've seen a couple of like, I feel like missed drops from Huff. I'm not sure uh, if, if if that's what's happening here. It seems like he'll slide the piece a little bit before it touches down. 
and it feels like he's getting some misdrops as a result. Yeah, nothing too serious yet. Oh, I think that was a misspin. Yeah, he, he also has been missing a lot of those tucks as well. So Tetris, I mean, it's not Tetris time, but Huff might be playing with a little bit of nerves Tetris here. Tetris time with a bit of a jagged play field. Probably wanting to get some of those holes cleaned out ASAP. Transitions coming in about 30 lines. Yeah, where's that eyepiece? There it is, finally. The single off the bottom. Even... Boom, dirty Tetris for Tetris time. <laughs> Is he? He's going for an... Oh, nice. God, he Whoa, got it! Tetris. <laughs> and he's gonna... Looks like he's gonna keep the center well, at least for the time being. Wow. And yeah, he can get another one if he really wants to. All right, he wears the eyepiece. Perfect timing. Boom, boom. Tetris for Tetris time. And boom, Tetris for Huff. We're still pretty much neck and neck here. 10 lines from transition. Players wanting to get their fields in order before the speed change. I can imagine both players are kind of relieved, you know, having to do so much digging, yet they're still, you know, within reach of each other. So, Tetris you know. time covered as well, and we're 10 lines from transition. Let's see what he does here. Definitely wants to uh, not have a unsafe board state here, yeah. if at all possible. Yeah, but they're not giving him the proper pieces to be able to burn through easily without, without you know, covering that hole up. again. Yeah, okay, so he's one clear away from opening the well at least. There it is, so and now he goes. And okay, perfect go timing! Boom. Tetris time. So Huff up Sunday. by one Tetris, has a bit of a spire there. He will clear the triple to get it burned down. Boom, Tetris for Huff. Scores are neck and neck, and we are into level 20 speed. Level 19 speed at 20. Okay, where's the eyepiece? Huff is reliant on an eyepiece. He decides to burn. Beautiful, beautiful. And again, all of a sudden, this burst of L and J pieces. Yeah, oh, man. Not being kind, not getting the long bars when the players need it. Yeah, and Huff needing to dig now. This is going to be a major dig for Huff. This is not easily resolvable because the holes are really awkward places. Yeah, but he's doing it. Oh, nice. He's doing, doing it. it. Nice dig. Nice burn there on the top of the T. He's going to be able to drop in there. Yeah, but I mean, God, look at this. I think oh, I'm not going to yeah, say anything. Excellent. No commentary occurs. One way to get out of that Huff has just done it. And uh, <sighs> is getting the job done and survives what would normally be a really tough dig. And he actually still has the lead. Oh, Tetris for Huff. And yeah, Tetris can... Time happy to do some burns in that. No! Tetris Time. Oh, it's nice tough. last second tuck by Tetris Time. Okay, if he can get another eyepiece. No! Oh, no! Okay, that's Tetris probably Time's in trouble. There. Yeah. See if you can dig out of this. Tetris Time's going to have to do another hero dig on the same scale that Huff just did to survive this. I mean, can he do this? Oh, no. Oh, might no. be he... fatal. Oh, but burns it down. He might be able to get the long bar to the right if it comes. Ah, don't, don't. Wow, look at that survival. <laughs> Boom! Tetris or Tetris time. Look at these survivals. These digs have been amazing. I can't believe it. They're both still going. Now, Huff has opened up a gigantic lead of 137,000 points. So Tetris time had some catching up to do, but to get that... You have to survive, and Tetris Time just survived one of the craziest digs. Boom, Tetris for Tetris Time, and Huff is in scoring position as well. Boom, Tetris now, for Huff. Now, at this point in time, if you're Tetris Time, the goal is, you know, just to survive. Last long enough for Huff to perhaps top out and then perform a chase down afterwards. And you can see that he's trying to play a little bit more aggressively. Look at this, yeah. he's going for a dirty Tetris. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. no. And, and yeah, he had to play aggressive. And in the end, it's going to yeah, cost him. That's, uh, but he knew he had to do it. He knew he had to do it. Huff's going to take that first round. But both players in life or death situations getting those hero digs and able to survive, which is key. Ooh. That hero dig from Huff was obviously key for him to win this. and uh, But still, can't. Uh, not enough can be said about that uh, dig from from Tetris time as well. Yeah, both players super tenacious and uh, having to uh, not hold anything back in terms of survival to get the score to take the win. GG's. All right.
We're going to be heading to game number two. Good start right here. Uh, great start. And uh, Huffleupagus taking game number one. And again, both of them start off, I feel like, a little bit of nervous. And I feel like both players there uh, were having a lot of missed drops at the start. I expect that their games are going to clean up just a little bit as, as they keep playing. Yeah, yeah. A bit more um, digging than we're used to seeing, especially since that well, uh, last game with uh, Richie versus Joseph. Didn't really have too many digs, uh, but this one, you know, when maybe when the pieces fall a certain way, we see both players affected by it. And uh, that's what we saw towards the end, especially with uh, a lot of digging going on, and a lot of just uh, focus on survival. But both can be exciting. You know, scoring is one thing, but digging is also uh, sometimes <laughs> just as exciting and definitely just as important to securing that victory. Yeah. Again, the ability to clean is more than just, you know, filling out those lines. It's also, you know, consciously previewing the gaps under in the in the lines below. Because a lot of times you think you might be cleaning, but it, you actually aren't cleaning at all because you keep covering up the holes that are a few rows down. And so you'll actually see a lot of times, you know, when a player is cleaning, it looks like they have a piece perfectly to fit somewhere and they put it in this really awkward position. And it's because they're trying to avoid stacking extra blocks over a future hole. And that's one of the things that will determine your skill as a cleaner. If you can actually uh, note and you know play properly and, and, and address those future gaps. Yeah, yeah. You talk about stack maintenance, but after you uh, cover a hole, you know, your placement thereafter will determine whether you get out of that dig or not. Mm -hmm. And we're off into the second match, or second game of this match, Huff up by one. Yeah, and again, a little bit of a, 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 a messy start here for Tetris time. Yeah, getting some awkward pieces, gonna get the tuck in there finally, and now has the ability to clean his way through. And again, you see, he had the opportunity to stick uh, that S piece over to the left but he didn't want to because he didn't want to cover up a future hole and that's why he didn't do that again mm -hmm. something very very important to note when you're doing cleaning all right tetris time clean again boom tetris for tetris time tough meanwhile up to about a two tetris lead back down another one now by 60 well another two tetris uh after with tetris time getting a tetris is now by two right and uh you see right now Huffleupagus starting off with a respectable 100% Tetris rate. <laughs> oh no, he had to drop it down. <laughs> but we are having a little bit of a drought here. There we go, finally. Boom, Tetris for Huff and up to 92%. Yeah, uh, Huff just uh, blazing Tetris rates here. Really gonna have a lot of scoring potential. So Tetris time is really gonna have to maximize as this game progresses. All right, okay, Time perfect. Time board. Yeah, but Give again. a trout. Creates a dependency. Yeah. He's gonna need a couple of long bars. Okay, There's one. There and boom, Tetris Ooh, for boom, Tetris for Tetris time. Yeah, so now he's gonna try to do a little bit of cleaning to get that gap over there. He needs two long bars or some clutch he cleaning. He covered up the well. Yeah, he had yeah, to. He didn't really have much of a choice. There we go. That's going to give him nothing, actually. There we go. The triple. I thought he was going to get a single. Yeah, <laughs> it's two long bars to fill that dependency. <laughs> Oof, man. Uh, and now Huff having kind of like a a need for a log bar and, and takes the Tetris now with a, had a column set up in column nine. Yeah. Back-to-back -back T's are going to be perfect to clear out that space right there and get to that gap. And now some really nice pieces for Huff. Getting himself almost a clean board. Mm -hmm. Boom, Tetris for Huff. Huff at 75%. So yeah, finally left. these boards both looking clean, yeah. looking to score. Boom, Tetris for Tetris time. Yeah, again, obviously the first match we saw, you know, the players were both so clean the entire time. Right now, uh, this kind of situation here, I don't think is a is an indication of the players. I, I really do feel like the, the RNG has been a little bit been. for the players. Yeah. 
And again, it's a factor, but you know, we talk about RNG. That isn't to say that the game is random. Obviously, it's probabilities, it's understanding that RNG, it's, you know, risk management, understanding if you want to chase after pieces, there's, there's so much you can do in this game to mitigate the RNG. And that's usually where the difference lies between the best, you know, the best of the best. Yeah, and actually kind of like a player having a move set. We saw a few moves ago, Tetris Time just did a pretty cool spin there. So if you see a setup that can keep your board clean, uh, that's the skill of the player dealing with uh, the pieces that are given and able to ke keep their board clean out of everything. That Ooh. was so beautiful by off, but he's got a really awkward uh, three wide column over there that he's fixing. Yeah, dumping those Zs over there. Oh, finally Creating getting some of those fire. Z pieces. <laughs> he had a Z drought, and that's exactly what he needed for those columns. <laughs> But yeah, now Tetris time doing a little bit of a dig. So, chance for Huff to increase his lead here. Mm -hmm. 72 versus 67%. And again, as we saw from the last game, what rolling can do uh, versus hyper tapping. And so, you know, this is going to be a tough situation for Tetris time being down. Not only is he trying to, oh, okay, that's going to be a double. Uh, but not only is he having to do some cleaning here, but he also knows we saw in the last game remember how aggressive he was playing he was trying to get a tetris like way up at the top because he knows he has to especially going up against a roller like huff here we go okay, tetris boom tetris for huff boom tetris for tetris time we have hit the level 19 transition players are off to the scoring speed round. And both fields are clean, ready to score. Well, at least Tetris Times was, or Tetris Times is and Huff's was, but now Huff has to do some digging. That's how yeah. fast the complexion of the boards change. Yeah, survival of level 19 is so key. And just trying to be efficient enough to keep getting these Tetrises. And there you go. Boom. This is a good opportunity for Tetris time now to try to catch up because Huff is still cleaning. He's gotten his board clean right now. But yeah. as you can see, the Tetris rates are getting very close to each other. Beautiful burn right there by yeah, Tetris time. This is a pretty time. close game, all things considered, with all that burning that happened earlier. But still, you know, they're at 600 plus thousand points. So good score still. Yeah, again, 60% is about Tetris uh, ma max, out. Is about max out pace. Yeah, max out pace. He needs a tuck. How is he going to do this? Oh. Okay, beautiful split burn. Mm hmm. So Huff now with a better looking field. Now he needs to figure out a way to cover up column 10 without blocking. See right there, that looked like he was going through there, but he had to create more uh, blocks on top of the gap. He's finally through it now, but now he's relying on that L piece. Finally got that. Yeah, it looks like Tetris time likes to dig down all the way to the bottom before scoring again. Oh man, where is the S piece? Is it too late? Oh, so he's got a really awkward build. He Route. keeps getting the exact opposite piece that he needs. Every time he ends reliance on an S, here comes the Z. You know, every time he, well, actually, every time he ends reliant on the S, the S shows up. High speed dig here by Tetris Time. Getting some Swiss cheese holes, and those are hard to clean because you, know, you, you risk, you know, covering the hole you're trying to clear with another piece. Finally digging back down. Yeah, but again, had to block. Yeah. See so right Huff there. is up a pretty big lead now, up by 112, 110,000 points now. Yeah, the kind of pressure that Huff's play is going to put on Tetris time. So his Tetris time, yeah, he's going to burn through there. But you can see his Tetris rate down to 49%. So Huff... Continuing to score, continuing to keep the pressure on. Yeah, Huff doing a little bit of burning now himself. There we go. Now he's Tetris ready. 
Level 28, so level 29 is coming soon. Next eight lines for Huff, and seven for Tetris time. So uh, if they want to do some post-29 play, especially Huff, you know, being the roller, I want to get their board into shape, but it looks like Huff is going to stack high for a last Tetris. <laughs> Man, here we go, rolling. Right, get the Tetris. Max out. out. Boom. Max out from Huff. And now both players playing on 29. Tetris time into level 30. Continuing yeah. to play with tapping. And he's just going after singles at this point yeah, because he knows. Huff's four lead is huge. And it's going to take this game by 100,000 points. So, yeah, we have a double kill screen and a max out. Level 30 on yeah. both players. That is crazy. And unfortunately, as you can see, the 51% Tetris rate right there by Tetris time, meaning that, you know, he still couldn't max out even getting to level 30. And Huff there with on the, our, another max out count <laughs> yeah. for the day. So, yeah, should... Huff is really uh, pushing the limits again, getting to a max out kill screen. And now Tetris time is on the ropes and fighting for his tournament life. Huff looking to sweep. Yeah, Huff right now with the two game lead. Again, we mentioned Tetris time, you know, being the underdog here, you know, we can talk about him, you know, being happy to get here, but he definitely wants to put some pressure on Huff and show that he belongs in this top eight. But again, Huff Luffagus third place last year yeah. uh, as a hyper tapper, now picking up rolling. And uh, you can only imagine he's just going to keep getting stronger and stronger. You said he just set the record a couple of yeah, days ago. Yeah, so much momentum with that. Getting a you know world record high score coming into this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Huff is looking really strong coming in and you know looking to sweep here and make a statement. Really having a bit of a tournament experience from last year is just the perfect balance of having experience, being a new player, and uh, continuing to learn and evolve uh, as the scene progresses. Right. And, and people, I mean, uh, remember that, you know, in the video that we saw in his match versus Fractal, Fractal did go up 2-0 and uh, he was able to make the comeback. So Tetris Time has done it before. Definitely yeah. can do it again. Yeah. Tetris Time having that tenacity, you know, capable of doing reverse sweep. So we shall see. That's uh, what Tetris Time will need to do to come back and stay in this tournament. So yeah, we've already seen uh the rolling earlier in the day and uh now we're seeing the rolling here from huff two one tetris tetris tetris, tetris. time these are <laughs> these are the only rollers that we have in the tournament richie being the other one ruins uh who was sent out by joseph in one of the all-time greatest matches that <laughs> yeah, that we've already. seen here Already, um, what a thrilling ride CTWC 2021 has been. Let's go. Yeah. Again, you can see a lot of the, the building strategies very similar between, you know, the players here. And that's why you see this kind of situation right now where, you know, both of the players having kind of awkward fields to start because, again, it's not an indication of the quality of the players. It really is. The the RNG has been brutal in these first few games. Mess for Tetris time here. Having to dig early on. Shouldn't be anything he can't handle. Right, and, but he oh, Huff, too. Forced... Huff yeah, looking mess keeps... too. They keep being forced to cover up the holes because they're just not getting the pieces that they need. Oh, this is such a frustrating start for both players. Mm -hmm. Actually, okay, Tetris time. Finally oh, about to get clean. He just needs a good piece. T yep. piece is good. Where's the long bar? There it is. That triple starting to get his board back into shape. And Huff with a left dirty well now. Yeah. And there it is. Boom. Oh, Tetris for Huff. Left Nicely side done. dirty well. Yeah. And you know what? He's going to keep playing there. And I like yeah. that idea. It's mm -hmm. level 18. It's slow enough that he can uh, play at Max this speed. Yeah. Maximize everything. Boom. Tetris for Huff. Another left well there. And now, finally, see? Picking the right opportunity to finally dig out that hole on the right side. And now what a nice smooth transition from the left well to the right well. Meanwhile, Tetris Time still struggling to get yeah, out of it. Tetris Time had um, 
a tuck, he looked like he was trying to set up. And I remember some other uh, commentators saying things like, you know, that's uh, Tetris time doing Tetris time things and maybe getting into a bit of trouble trying to get creative uh, to <laughs> sol do some of those solves. But with the tapping speed to survive. All right. But again, this is just absolutely wrecked the Tetris rate. You can see he's at 6%. He has not been able to get any Tetrises at all. He should be able to clear through a lot of this and nice tuck. But now and Max, again, he's that tough score deficit's not bigger than it is. Yeah, the pieces that he's getting, he's just not getting the right pieces finally. But see how he has to keep creating these overhangs. Mm -hmm. But actually, He's going to be able to tuck that in there. Beautiful. Now yep. he just needs to cover up that column eight. So hopefully, yeah, that, that tendency and that desire to tuck has, has been fulfilled and Tetris time can go back to making Tetrises. <laughs> but as you mentioned, not even that much of a deficit here. Yeah. You can see. But these droughts, these droughts are brutal. Tough getting a tuck in there. Look at this 36, 37 Ooh. piece drought! 40 piece drought! Oh, finally the eyepiece! Oh, it's time. <laughs> and Huff needs it now. Well, now having a dependency. He's gonna have to skim stuff off the top, but yeah, it's now going through that drought. Yeah, you see the 40 piece drought coming to catch Huff, but Huff's play field is Man, pretty clean. So he's time the setting up some kind of Vitz looking thing. <laughs> Burns off a triple, nonetheless. Going Tetris for Tetris time. And there you go. Oh, perfect pieces to clean out the field. And there you go. Another Tetris for Tetris time. But yeah, Tetris time getting so creative on uh, the delayed burns there. Uh, my mind is uh, being blown moment to moment. <laughs> but again, just a little bit of some unfortunate RNG for Tetris time, but man, is he going? Okay, yeah, I was about to say, it almost looked like he was gonna go for a dirty Tetris way up there. But there you go, boom, Tetris for Tetris time. But again, look at the rates, look at the Tetris rates, 28% to 41%. So a good lead right now for Huff. Yeah, so yeah, Tetris time looks to be several lines ahead. Transition is coming, so definitely Tetris Time probably wanting to get that board back into a manageable state as soon as possible. Perfect, and there we go. He's yeah. gonna get Boom. Tetris the for Tetris, Tetris Time. Yeah, okay. Okay. in great shape now too. Looking to get that long bar to score another Tetris for transition. Boom, Tetris for Huff. And usually when you're doing a lot of cleaning like Tea Time has as he transitions, you will be playing so much further ahead than your opponent. And that's why he is so many lines ahead and why uh, Huff hasn't transitioned yet. Oh man, these pieces. Ooh, <sighs> looking for that dirty. It doesn't get the long bar in time. Okay, can Tetris Time dig out of this? This is precarious and possibly would be deadly to any other player. But Tetris time, just so comfortable in these YOLO digs. It's amazing. What a dig. He's still not out of this yet, but he's still alive. Wow. Look at this. That. And Clean. out and boom. Oh, Tetris, Tetris for Tetris, Tetris time. time. Oh, man. And again, another Tetris. So again, he's very far behind, but he's keeping this. He's not letting Huff Rest on his laurels right now. Avoiding the gotta top keep out. Playing. Gotta survive because you'll never know what happens. You can always get a chase down. Ooh, up high. Really needing some long bars. Yeah. L's and J's would be nice too. Where are the long bars? Got it. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, touch time open again. Huff just down to the bottom. Super clean. Looking to score some more. Wow, last second adjustment to facilitate a tuck by Huff. All eyes, however, I think on Tetris time right here, watching him try to survive this. Oh, boom, Tetris, Tetris. For Tetris time. And he's actually increased his Tetris rate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, what Ooh. a beautiful burn. 
really holding out for that. Super aggressive, needing to take the triple. Where's that long bar? Again, another drought. We're at 30 piece drought, boom. Oh, Tetris, Tetris time. <laughs> but this is what Tetris time needs to do. Maintaining that aggression and uh, keeping a stack that's relatively safe for burning, even if the drought comes. So Tetris time really uh, doing a good job of buttoning up the play field and keeping it in the good position. Oh, a mischief oh, no. there. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be a little bit, he's gotta do some cleaning again. Boom Tetris for Huff. Huff maintaining the aggression, continuing to score. Yeah, 50% Tetris rate for Huff versus 35% from Tetris time. Really good solves and uh, delayed burns by Tetris time to keep up the scoring. Boom Tetris for Tetris time. Yeah, the only Tetris problem Huff. is we're at level 27 right now. Yeah, time I feel is like running Tetris out. Time, yeah, Tetris time is running out of time to be able to 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 catch up. And Huff with the rolling is going to be able to survive post kill screen transition. Although Tetris time, you know, with that Minecraft uh, tapping on the, the, <laughs> the, you know, those, he is able to survive on level 29 as well as a tapper. So Here check this is. out. Here we are at kill screen. Continuing to make yeah, singles. So fast. Trying to get into a position to score is only down by 36,000 points, but Huff hasn't hit kill screen yet. And continues to make Tetris's on 28. Wow. Yeah, so that's oh, going to do it for wow. Tetris time. And a uh, great performance by Tetris time surviving that long against Huff, who hits kill screen and also continues to score. So Huff is going to take that match, and Tetris time has been eliminated. Yeah, again, wonderful play from Tetris time. Clearly the underdog coming into this match, but that doesn't mean that anybody was counting him out. He oh, look at this, another Tetris, another at, Tetris level at level 30 from Huff. Huff just yeah. showing the power of the Huff. Yeah, the, rolling, the rolling is just ridiculous. Again, he just set a record with this rolling technique. Makes it look like you can move the piece. It just un fathomable wow. speeds he's still I going mean, i don't want the rest of our field to be struck in awe and terror but that's what we're seeing here <laughs> this, this crazy ability to move pieces like no other and, and and honestly with the rolling it really makes it start to feel like you're playing with modern rules you know where where the the delayed auto shift of modern tetris is just almost instantaneous so you're never really worried about how you need to get a piece over to one side huff uh, managing to eke out the max out in your post kill screen here but this is exciting this is a great preview for people out there showing us what rolling can do for players and how it gives them the power to play at this, like I said, almost unfathomable level of speed. Yeah, 35, 36, let's go. Of just showcasing Oops. the ability to survive post kill screen. And let, let's see if a dig is possible. No, no. Oh, he's getting, no. getting it back down. Look at this. Wow. Able and to place pieces. Wow, I thought left, right side would have been a problem, but he digs back down. Wow. What a dig here in kill screen. Can we see a record being made? Just because? There's that uh, level 29 color again. We're about to loop. Back through the colors on level 39 here. You are seeing some history being made right now. And again, this is more Huff just sending a message to his opponents, showing them that, you know, your Tetris rate had better be at the most ridiculous levels. Otherwise, you can't outlast me because I can outlast you and I can calmly sit here and keep scoring points. Yeah, I mean, I just, uh, he's just sitting there calmly strumming that controller and the pieces are just flying. He's digging. Like, I, I can't even say like they're in trouble. Okay, that might be trouble. Yeah, that's probably it right yeah, there. Okay, there we go. So what yeah, we need to create a new sport from this. That was a Huffleupagus' pro molining.
doing that post kill screen play all the way up to level 41. Wow. <laughs> Look at the arm fold. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the power of the huff. Check oh, it out. Man. Level 41, you said? That's, that is, yo, yeah, yeah, there it is. I'm adding yeah. with that Brand Stain Bears shirt. <laughs> I, Amazing. And we're going we, to be going to a interview. Tetris time. So let's talk about your 2021 CTWC. You made it all the way through the bracket stage where in the official contest, the CTWC bracket prediction, zero people picked you to win your bracket. You defied the odds. You busted every single person's predictions. You made it all the way here. How far were you expecting or hoping to go when you signed up this year for 2021? Uh, I was hoping to make the the finals of my bracket, you know, get a little bit of prize money. That's uh, the farthest I thought I would make at the most. You made it here to face Huffleupagus, one of the new rollers. You impressed, I think, everybody with your incredible digs, your incredible resilience. As you said in the po in the pre-interview, one of the main qualities of a classic Tetris player to be great needed is to never give up. So what goes through your mind when you're in one of these insane digs? When I'm in a dig, my mind is just thinking, like, what's going to happen if I top out? So during that dig, I was like, if I top out, it's over for me. My run is over. CTWC is no more. That's all I'm thinking about. Like, like during these digs, I'm thinking about like the consequences of me topping out and not surviving it. And I mm -hmm. guess that is what like motivates me to survive them. Yeah. So it's like you turn on an extra gear when the pressure's on. Yeah. <laughs> Touches time gear. <laughs> so yeah, let's talk about your play style. You mentioned that you adapted your hyper tapping from jitter clicking. How did how was the process of doing that? How does they how do they compare? Uh, I know a lot of people like to use their thumb, but I just could not figure out like a way to use my thumb, like to vibrate it or anything. And I then remembered that um, I knew how to jitter click because I've I'd been doing it for a few years at that point. And then I tried my very best to just like Im implement it, make a grip. And then I figured out where my hands go and that's how my grip was made. So you had some amazing games and you had some controller issues in this past week. You weren't sure if your controller was going to work. What happened there? And how are you able to recover? Um, yeah, on stream, uh, I had a had a kind of a malfunction. the The plug of the that goes into the console uh, broke, and one of the wires also cut. And then I opened it up to see if there was anything I could do, and then the pads broke. So like everything just like broke within like one hour. So um, the only other controller I had was a third-party controller, which I just could not use. It it wasn't it wasn't that good. I uh, but luckily um, uh, I want to say shout out to Bidwell, man. He said he he sent me a couple controllers. He saved me, man. I don't I don't know where else I would have been able to get a controller because on eBay um, it's just like a bunch of like people bidding for controllers and. I, I don't even know if it would have came in time. That's awesome. Shout outs to Bidwell. Absolutely. The power of the community coming together, people willing to do whatever it takes so that everybody can play. Tetris time, is there anything you wanted to say to any friends or family or supporters you had after making it this far, getting to play in the main event? I want to say... Thank you so much for watching um, my aunts, my family in California, and uh, my, some of my friends are also watching me. Uh, thank you. I wasn't able to bring home the trophy or the second place trophy, but you know, I was at least I was at least able to have a rematch with Huff, who he was actually my my first ever match like in ever Tetris was against Huff. Uh, that's wow. something 
uh, it was in Cloud Test Gauntlet. Um, I played on emulator and I got like 300k. So thank you so much for my family and friends that watch up to this point. But uh, you get to watch me next year. Yeah. So how do you feel about uh, how how does it feel watching you know an opponent get a level 41? What what are your thoughts on Huff as an opponent? What he's become? I mean, that's cool and all, but like, what are you like, like a one point one or something? Like that, that's possible. I I could have beaten that. It just <laughs> I just didn't have the consistency today. And if I did, um, I probably could have won. But that's just that's just how pressure works sometimes. It messes with your mind, and I didn't have a good mindset. Uh, you dug through many situations that probably almost everybody would have thought were impossible. You definitely showed that you are a player that never gives up. So Tetris time. So glad we got to watch you this year. You put on an amazing performance and we hope to see you again and can't wait to see what you do in the future. Yeah. Um, I think the my only choice would be to switch to rolling next year. <laughs> love to see I, it i think i have to because uh i can get kill screen tetrises and set it up but if i miss drop then there's not too much i can do unless i get like really good pieces uh i think that's the only way i can get like all this way up again is to learn how to roll so we'll you got a I kill do. screen tetris in this match so you yeah. definitely showed you had the speed even without rolling so I'm sure you'll be, you know, Game's I'm sure we'll see speed. do an, just another level of uh, Tetris time once, you know, you get to the new play style. So can't wait to see it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I'll do one year from now. See how I can, uh, how can I, I can adapt my or invert my tap in, into Rowan. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Awesome. So another tapper saying they might take up rolling in Tetris time. We have not seen the last of Tetris time and I'm looking forward to seeing how it happens and the uh, community evolving in real time. Yeah, again, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that's kind of some of the, the final words we hear from most of the players, you know, transitioning to rolling. Obviously, the players at the top, you know, like Dog, like Andy, you know, don't have as much pressure to transition just yet to rolling but i mean as this keeps going as this as we as this top eight progresses we'll see what happens <laughs> yeah especially uh, if huff is the one to uh to take it all but we have yet to see that uh so uh we want to do another shout out to twitch who has made all of this possible extra special thanks for them putting us on their front page bringing new eyes to our community and the love and joy and skill exhibited here uh in classic tetris and the tetris community so big shout outs to twitch launched in 2011 twitch is an interactive live streaming service for content spanning gaming entertainment sports music and more at any given moment on average more than 2.5 billion people come together from all over the globe to interact this, around this distinct form of entertainment that's created by shared interactions of millions Thank you, Twitch. Yeah, for sure. If there's anything that you want to watch on Twitch, I mean, Twitch definitely has it in terms of, you know, the games and even just the IRL and just, you know, people chatting and talking. And heck, if you want to sit down and watch uh, Bob Ross for 24 yeah, hours straight, you can do that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so a uh, lot of cool stuff here that you can catch on Twitch, a lot of cool games, but you know, thank you guys for tuning in to the Tetris channel here and shout outs to the, everybody from the front page of Twitch uh, joining here. If this is not something that you've watched before, you know, obviously we're between matches here, but stick around for the next match that'll be coming up. But yeah, again, we're only the players, the players here through. are just ridiculous, like the level of play here. And it is definitely the most hype Tetris that you will ever see anywhere. Is yeah, so those just joining us track. now, we've had yeah. an entire year of competitions leading up to this. It all comes down to this. This is CTWC. This is Tetris season, the finale here in 2021.